to date, I think you definitely have barriers with the tracking and all the multi-device, multi-screen aspect of it. You have issues with all the different media companies and technology companies competing for these eyeballs, as well as taking credit for the eyeballs. And those are issues that are gonna, when you're dealing with big Fortune 500 companies that are big players, you know, whether you're running through the, the big digital players, whether it's the Googles, the Facebooks, and then you also have the Comcasts of the world, you have the Apples of the world, you have Samsung get, getting into the video ad game. So there's a lot of different things coming out here that are big issues that are definitely barriers previously because it's hard to, with, to get large companies like that to collaborate. Well, I think it's a very exciting time, to be honest. I think that we are starting to get to a point where we're on the edge of being able to translate and take a legacy industry like television and convert it to being closer to track directly through digital. And whether that's te emerging technologies, whether it's multi-screen, knowing that the users are the same, whether that's beacons, whether that's different uh, connection devices through Wi-Fi and whatever it may be. But I think we're very close and as an advertiser, this is a very exciting time to showcase how powerful video is because without a doubt, video is the most powerful medium and it has been since the 1950s. I don't believe there's a silver bullet when you're combining TV and digital and the video landscape, but I do think that we're very close. And when it comes to the internet providers and the television video providers correlating and coming together, I think that's when you're gonna create the causation campaigns and really advertisers are gonna love it because you're gonna be able to touch people on multi-platforms and get those eyeballs both on any of their screens. And again, video has been the most productive means of reaching consumers since the 1950s and it's just evolving in how people consume it. I think there's a couple things. On, on the negative side, people are being much more conservative with privacy policies and I think that's going to hinder the progress of video and television um, ad campaigns and correlations and I think that's going to become a really big issue uh, in a negative way. In a positive way, I think you're starting to see some of the TV and internet providers get into the cell phone business and uh, data offerings. And I think that once they get a hang of it, I think those are going to become major power players in the advertising world. I think there's a couple issues that we have. I, I think that more than television being out of date as a medium, I think that television rating trackings is a huge issue. And I think that when you're looking at rating boxes and rating systems that Nielsen or other people provide, it is too small of a sample size to really tell the story of what's going on. And I think for that reason, advertisers are struggling because they just want to rely on something they can track in the digital sphere. So when you have issues like that, I think it is a big concern of tracking and moving forward until they digitize the tracking in the television world. And I think that I don't know the answer if it's the big power players don't want the real ratings to come out because they're worried it's going to affect their bottom line. And I think that there's issues there that I think need to be addressed. But once actual digital tracking comes into play for tangible t terrestrial television, even if it's streaming or cable network, whatever it may be, I think then you'll start to see a lot of progress with television getting more credit for the success and the power it has.